Elon Musk is going on trial on Tuesday for his troublesome tweets in a defamation case pitting the billionaire against a British diver he allegedly branded a paedophile. The Tesla CEO will be called to testify early in the case in Los Angeles federal court to explain what he meant when he called Vernon Unsworth, who helped rescue youth soccer players trapped underwater in a Thailand cave, Peter Guy in a Twitter spat more than a year ago. Mr. Musk later apologized for lashing out at Mr. Runsworth on Twitter after the diver belittled Mr. Musk's efforts to build a tiny submarine to save the trapped boys as a PR stunt. The tweet, widely interpreted as a reference to a paedophile, was removed by Mr. Musk, who disputed that's what he meant. Pedo guy was a common insult used in South Africa when I was growing up, Musk said in a court declaration. It is synonymous with creepy old man and is used to insult a person's appearance and demeanor. Mr. Runsworth's lawyers have laughed off that explanation and said his claim was undercut by a subsequent tweet when he said, Bet you a signed dollar it's true, in response to a question about whether he had accused Mr. Runsworth of being a paedophile. The lawyers also said he hired private investigators to dig up evidence Mr. Runsworth was a child molester, which they never found, according to Mr. Runsworth's lawyers. The lawsuit is not the first time Mr. Musk's tweets have landed him in hot water. Mr. Musk and Tesla reached a $40 million settlement with the Securities and Exchange Commission last year on allegations he misled investors with a tweet declaring he had secured financing to buy out the electric car maker. He agreed in the settlement to have future tweets about the company screened. He was forced back into court on accusations he violated that agreement by tweeting a misleading figure about how many cars Tesla would manufacture this year. The SEC sought to hold him in contempt of court, which led to a new agreement imposing tighter controls on Mr. Musk's tweets about the company. The cave drama played out for more than two weeks in the summer of 2018 when the 12 boys, ages 11 to 16, and their soccer coach were trapped in a flooded cave in northern Thailand. Mr. Musk and engineers from his SpaceX rocket company Custom built a mini-submarine to help with the rescue. The device was heavily publicized but never used. Mr. Runsworth, a diver and caving expert whose advice was considered crucial in the rescue operation, said the sub would never have fit in the cave's tight spaces. He told CNN that Mr. Musk could stick his submarine where it hurts. Mr. Musk responded two days later with his series of tweets. Mr. Musk claims he wasn't making a factual statement and no one reading his tweet would take it seriously and interpret it as defamatory. Despite removing T for more on this story, visit the news article link.